and welcome to the big house. This massive crowd assembled here today to cheer on the Wolverines already chanting, Go Blue. And a rivalry like this is what makes college football great. Yeah, the tradition and the history, but right here, right now, there's great intensity. This is why these guys came to these schools to play in games like this. As we'll see a squad from the Big Ten, the Michigan State Spartans, taking on the ninth-ranked team, the Michigan Wolverines. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Chris Fowler, joined here in the booth by Kirk Herbstreit. Kirk, let's get to the action on the field. The Spartans will kick it away to start us off. Fielded in the end zone. It's Morris. Solid job by the coverage team. They bring him down at the 16. So Michigan's offense has the football first here today. Here we go. You can feel the juice in this building. What a privilege, Kirk, to be part of this rivalry game. Well, there's nothing like rivalry games. You know, no matter what you've done all year, you get your opportunity to win this game today, and it can change everything. And he's got his man open downfield. They bring him down, but a big chunk of yardage on the play. Well, Chris, you watch a completion like that, and with the efficiency, it makes it kind of think back to all the quarterbacks and receivers that they've had who made it look this easy. Of course, you start with Tom Brady, but think of the year Brian Greasy had in 1997, that national championship year. Chad Henney going back to Elvis Kerback and all the great receivers. So this is within their history, and it's good that they're leaning on it. He's running out of time here. He's got it for a big game. Tackle made, but it's a huge gain all the way to the 33-yard line. Well, this quarterback and this receiver are a matchup that's tough for any defense to match up with. If I'm the defensive coordinator, I got to start thinking about cheating a safety over against this guy to slow him down and not allow him to have such a big day. Pass complete for a first down. The offense gets a fresh set of downs. He hands it off from the gun. The junior able to bring him down quickly. And remember, the last time these rivals met Kirk, these guys dropped the hammer. It, it got up. And Chris, don't underestimate the mental anguish that that can put on a team. It's important that this defense plays well and tries to get the ball back to their own offense to give them a chance to build their confidence up. Looking to throw. It's Orgy. Short pass finds the tight end. Defense makes the stop very close to a first down. Boy, that's pretty good coverage here by this defense. Not much of a window to throw this ball into, but the quarterback's accuracy and the size of the tight end picks up a nice game. So now it's third and short from the plus 25. They're in field goal range. But let's see what the call is. They're thinking about touchdown, of course. Well, the power run is stuffed. Barely makes his way back to the line of scrimmage on that one. Well, it seemed like the offense is trying to throw some kind of misdirection with that run there. But give credit to the defense. They were prepared for anything, and they swallowed that running back up. Nice defensive stand. So on their first possession of the game, the offense stays on the field, and they'll go for it. A running play called on fourth down. Oh, they've stopped him short. What a fourth down play, and they will take over on downs now. So Michigan State's offense comes out for their first possession today. And how about the game within a game today? The running back coming downhill, the linebacker coming up to meet him. We expect some collisions on this field today. Yeah, this linebacker's going to have his hands full because this running back is a difficult guy to contain. Both guys know where each other's going to be lined up at all times. It's just going to come down to which guy can come up and make a play against the other. Well, it's a nice job of picking up the first down by this Michigan State running back. And Chris, you think back over the years, think of how many good backs we've seen wear these colors from Michigan State. Going back to Lorenzo White, guys like T.J. Duckett, Le'Veon Bell, Javon Ringer, always a good back in East Lansing. Tackled behind the line, it's a loss of two. Chris, this is what I'd love to see from a defense. Because the linebackers are scraping doing their job, but you need help from the secondary. And when you have aggressive tacklers on the back end, you got a great defense. This time, the secondary makes the difference. Just underway, and this home crowd is fired up and ready to make a difference today. Out of the shotgun, he'll hand it off. They've got him down out near the 40.
So the offense getting set. This is not where you want to be against this defense. Third and long. Dropping back. Looking to throw for the first down. Fires it on the move. Looks downfield and finds a receiver who worked his way wide open. They've got him, but it's a huge gain. They'll spot it about the 27. What a pitch and catch by the quarterback and receiver for a big gain for this offense. And the Spartans will hustle to the line to crank the tempo. They'll hand it off. They bring him down, but that's a solid gain on the play. Well, this is exactly what you want to see as an offense to open up a football game. Everything seems to be working, whether they're running the football, as we saw right there, able to protect, throw the football with timing and rhythm, everything on full display for this offense to let this defense know they could be in for a long day. And they'll go right back to him on first down. So down here in the red zone, every yard tough to find. Here is a crucial play coming up. And it looks like the quarterback's going to run it. Football knocked loose in the backfield. Defense jumps on the ball. It's a turnover. That is tough for the ball carrier here because not only does he take a big hit, but now you're about to get an earful from your coach on the sideline after that turnover. And the Michigan offense comes back out on the field. Last time, the defense got a big fourth down stop. Let's see what the offense can do this time. Looking for a gap, it's Edwards. That's a nice wrap up there by the junior. Second down after that run on the previous play. And he'll ride the back again here. Fighting off the defender. And they'll tackle him about the 23-yard line. Coaches told us in the pregame production meetings they love this back's mixture of speed and power. We know about the speed, but he also showed the ability to break tackles on that run. Crucial third down play right here. Can he make it to the marker? tackle but only after picking up a fresh set of downs you know offensive linemen are just a certain breed they're always going to do their job no matter who's back there carrying the ball I'll tell you what they have a little bit more confidence when the person that's carrying the ball can break off some big time runs that makes them block just a little bit harder knowing what he's potentially capable of doing they'll run it from the gun and the defense smothers him for no gain well, Kirk, you played in plenty of rivalry games. How do they feel different from the others? Well, Chris, rivalry games, and, and depending on who the coach is, this is a game that you think about all year. You know, you're working out in the weight room. You're doing drills in summer two-a-days. Everything is focused on getting to this game and playing your very best. They'll switch it up, looking to throw. And a short pitch and catch to the tight end. And that gained enough for a fresh set of downs. Spotted at the 48. And this is why running the football is so important. You run the ball, and then you go play action. It affects the eyes of the safeties and the linebackers and frees up some space for the tight end to be able to pick up a nice game. The Wolverines are on the move here. Going to run it. It's Edwards. And just a short gain this time. They're able to get him down. Defense does a really nice job here of being able to contain that run game, held him just to two yards. Chris, to me, this changes the playbook a little bit now for the offense. The guy calling the plays at second and eight, that's a different deal. Now he's got to probably think about going through the air instead of staying on the ground. Handoff here from the shotgun. Breaking free at the 35. An explosive play moves the ball all the way down near the 25-yard line. 
Well, the big fellow's Kirk flowing to the right there. The defense just has no answer. It's a huge game. Yeah, and what a patience there by the running back, just allowing those blocks to be set up there off to the right. And then once he saw the crease in the defense, accelerates through that hole to show you what kind of speed he has for a big gain and a first down. Powers through the tackle. And he's able to find some running room. Nice pickup. Just love watching this back run. Gets behind that offensive line, lowers his pads, and gets a nice, solid game. The Wolverines looking to take advantage of this red zone trip. And they'll keep it on the ground. Running back has the handoff. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. Chris, that play just didn't have much of a chance at all from the snap. Quarterback hands this off and just nowhere to go. It's almost like the defense was anticipating the play call, and they put themselves in a position to come up with a nice tackle for a loss. Can they convert on third down to keep this drive rolling? That has been in large part to the Lions on the ground game, which has been featured from both sides in this one so far. As we get lined up here for quarter number two, we'll see if the offenses can get going. They didn't do much in the opening quarter. Dropping back, it's Orgy. Quick throw over the middle. He's got it right near the end zone. And they stop him just short of the end zone. The offense set up with a first and goal now. Well, this is why this guy's one of the top wide receivers in college football. It's third down. The defense knows you're probably going to go to him, and they still can't stop him from coming down with a big play. And the Wolverines come to the line with first and goal. He'll try to run it in on first and goal. And he runs it into the end zone. Touchdown, Wolverines. That's an old school leap, just up and over the defense into the end zone. Man, that running back needs to find a picture of that touchdown up into the air. He can frame that. That's a nice score to remember. So they'll try to add to the lead now with the PAT. And the PAT makes it 7-0. Here's the kickoff team. Let's see if they give the returner an opportunity to bring this back. Bringing it out. It's Foster. And he's brought down at the 16. Would have been better off leaving it in the end zone for a touchback. And the Michigan State offense is back out on the field. Frustration in the last drive. They moved it into plus territory, but coughed it up. Can't afford that down on the scoreboard now. Stopped short the marker after just a short game. Nice job here of controlling the line of scrimmage by this offensive line. The back does what he needs to do to get positive yards on first down. Offense getting set. Second down play here. Fakes the handoff here. Looking to throw it. Let's it fly out of the wide out. And the defender gets a hand in there to break the pass up. It is really tough on a quarterback when he thinks he's got a completion and an open man downfield. The ball's just about to get to his receiver. And then out of nowhere, the defensive back steps in front of it and knocks away. Nice job. They're backed up here, trying to make something happen on third and long. Dropping back, looking to throw for the first down. Catch made on the right side. That's a big gain. Heads out of bounds after a solid gain, more than enough to pick up a first down. What a clutch play here by this offense to convert on third down. I know it's still early in this game, but the fact that they've dug themselves a hole to convert there and keep this drive alive, they got a new set of downs and a chance to dig into this lead. On the ground, it's Carter. 
tackled behind the line. It's a loss of two. Well, that's a great play all around by this defense. Your first level defenders hold their own at the point of attack, allowing the second and third level players to roam free and make the tackle close to the line of scrimmage. Here's the second down play. To throw, it's Childs. Quick completion to the tight end. Just a good job of spreading the wealth, making sure everybody's getting their touches. When you do that, the defense can't lock in on one guy or two guys. Make them have to be aware of everybody and allows you to continue to spread the ball around and spread the field, making it tougher for this defense. Drops back, looking to throw for it on third down. Grab down the middle. It's Belling. The gain is not enough for first down, so it brings up a fourth and short. Really tight coverage here by this defense. Now, they give up the pass underneath, but do a nice job of rallying to the football to keep him short of that first down marker. And now we've got a decision here on fourth down. Not a very good boot. Sets up the offense in great field position. And the Wolverines offense is back on the field. They really had the defense off balance in the last possession, mixing the run and pass extremely well. It's a short completion of the tight end. They've got him at the 48, but that's a first down. That's a nice completion here by this Michigan offense. And when Michigan is really clicking, you think about over the years, they've been efficient within that passing game, being able to throw the football to complement a very physical running game. Nice play. Fresh set of downs. It's first and 10. They'll try and run it. Here's the running back. He shreds the tackle. Brought down after the nice spin move. Just a small gain by the offense. You know, a lot of people feel running backs with elite speed shy away from contact. But that wasn't the case there. Instead of running around the defender, this back elected to run right through him. Second down after that run on the previous play. And the same runner's got it again. The junior were able to bring him down quickly. Offense breaks the huddle and gets set. It's third down. They'll try to run for the first down. Breaking free at the 35. Oh, and nothing but green grass ahead. And he runs it in for the score. Touchdown, Michigan. Chris, all week I wondered if this back might get loose and come up with a big play like this. The defense had their back turned, couldn't really see where he was. By the time they realized it, he just had too much speed, and he's able to take it to the end zone. So they'll try to add to the lead now with the PAT. With the extra point, the lead is 14. Now the kickoff team is out on the field. Fields it just outside the goal line. And he stopped at the 20. Tried to make something happen, but that's good coverage there. And the Michigan State offense is back out on the field. The last drive, they came up empty. Had to kick it away. Can they come up with something here? And it's just beyond the receiver's grasp. Too much on that one. So after the incompletion, it's second down. Takes the handoff. It's Carter. Tackled behind the line. It's a loss of two. 
Well, they don't block the defensive end. It shows some quickness, Kirk, getting around the edge that time. Yeah, this guy's usually getting around the edge to put pressure on the quarterback, but he reminds everybody here that this guy's a complete package. Not only can he pressure the quarterback, but also he is very, very talented and shows you the physicality he has against the run as well. The pocket breaking down. Cannot escape and down he goes. Great call here going with that nickel defense, giving you more speed on the field on that third down and long. Nowhere to go. Gave the defensive line plenty of time to come up with that sack. And now it's fourth down and long. And the Spartans will send the punt team onto the field. And he'll kick it away now for the second time. Fair catch made at the 40. And the Michigan offense back out on the field. They've really built momentum in this game. They've been hard to stop. Can the defense make some adjustments? Come up with a stop here. Grab behind the line. It's Edwards. Tackle made after the completion. Made the catch, but he was surrounded for not much room to run. They did a really good job that time of leveraging him out in space. I, I thought he might have a chance to be able to shake loose because he is so elusive. But uh, defense, as you said, did a really good job in the open field surrounding him. Just nowhere for him to go to pick up any more positive yards. Takes the ball and heads to the left side. Minimal gain brought down short of the marker. Boy, that last carry, Chris, puts him right at 100 yards for the game. How's he done it? Because he's been patient. He's followed his blocks. He's let everything develop in front of him, and he's busted through for some big gains. Offense sets the formation. It's third down. Offense moving receivers around now before the snap. The pass rush closing in. He's found some room at the 45. Slides down to avoid the tackle. Well, they did a good job of getting pressure on the quarterback, but, man, make the play. Bring him down. Instead, they give up positive yards here on the scramble. The Wolverines getting set on first and ten. Scanning the field. It's Orgy. Pressure is coming. And he just throws it away there. Safe move. Had nobody open. Offense lines up for a second down play off the incompletion. And he drops back in the gun. Makes the throw across the middle of the field. What a job to lay out and make the catch. Boy, this is a big play by this offense. They go on the post route. It's a perfectly run route. It looks like the ball is going to be overthrown, but how about the receiver laying out to bring that one in for the big game? First down here. The offense has time for one more play before the two-minute warning. We've reached the two-minute warning here. Let's see if this offense can build on this big lead before halftime. The Wolverines will line up now. It's first and goal. Here's the snap. Offense looking to throw the ball. This one is incomplete right in the back corner of the end zone. That's a second and goal play for the offense. Quarterback looking to connect with the receiver here. Makes the catch. Can he get in? And he will score. Touchdown, Wolverines. Well, the call was sort of predictable, Kirk, but that tight end is just so tough to stop down here in the red zone. Listen, speaking on behalf of all quarterbacks, you get down to the red zone, you're looking for that big target that you can trust. He's going to run a good route, and he's got a big wingspan to allow you to make a throw up into the air. He can go up and make a catch over most defenders. Really good execution. They come up with six. So they'll try to add to the lead now with the PAT. He 
And the extra point makes it a three touchdown lead. Here's the kickoff team now, set to boot this one away. He'll return it from inside the five. To be tackled at the 17. Strong job by the coverage team. And the Michigan State offense is back out on the field. They're in a hole here before they have a chance to regroup at halftime. Let's see if they can cut into this big lead. Pulls it in. It's Belling. A big hit by the linebacker. Physical tackle there. Big versus big. That's a good job here, staying ahead of the chains. Good pickup here on first down. The quarterback hits the safety valve that time. The big tight end. going to bring up a second and manageable here for this offense. To the air, it's Childs. Snags the quick throw. And a timeout is called. Important stage late here in the second quarter. Well, it's got to start somewhere, and, and there's a nice first down to keep this drive alive and hope to be able to create a little bit of momentum here near the end of the first half, trying to cut into this lead and get some points on the board. And it's incomplete. The defender arrived the same time as the football, and now it's second down. to throw again defense is coming after him he's going to pull it down and run he'll avoid the big hit with the slide the Spartans will come to the line to crank up the tempo Shotgun formation here on third down. Grab near the sticks. It's Foster. And the offense will now quickly spend a timeout. Well, that's exactly how you dice up a zone coverage. Nice throw downfield here on third down and a really good route to give the quarterback a chance to make that play. He fires this throw and is intercepted. Well, the quarterback ends up being a tad aggressive and he ends up paying for it with a pick. I get that that might be part of his playing style, but there's a difference between being aggressive and being careless. And the Michigan offense comes back out on the field. Offense protecting the lead here, but they've been playing so well. Let's see if they go for more before halftime. Running out of time in the pocket. And a quick timeout call by the offense after the play. There's a nice sack by this defense, something that they've been looking for. They've been on their heels most of this football game. That time they were able to get after the quarterback and bring him down. Let's see if that can provide a bit of a spark, see if they can get a little bit of momentum going their way. Quick throw to the left side. Falls incomplete, broken up by the defender nicely that time. Some players just have a real knack for timing their jump, and that defender was able to get a big paw on the ball and bat it away. Not going to be easy here. Backed up a long way to go for a first down. Looking to pass. It's Orgy. Quick throw to the left. He pulls it in for a big game. Tackle made at the 41. That's first down yardage. The offense will quickly spend a timeout here after the play. And the Wolverines will line up on first and ten. Quarterback drops back. Throws to the tight end. Looks downfield and connects with a wide open wide receiver. All the way to the end zone. Touchdown, Michigan. Oh, this is how you start to get rolling. That's two touchdowns so far. And the more he gets fed, the more often he's going to cash in. So they'll try to add to the lead now with the PAT.
And the kick is up and good. They tack on a point to their lead. So the offense getting some momentum before halftime of the touchdown. Now they kick off and hopes the defense can get a quick stop. Fields it inside the five-yard line. He'll be tackled at the 18. That's good coverage there. So here comes the first play of the drive. Can they do something in the final 30 seconds of the half? From the shotgun now, here's a handoff inside. And they make the stop to get the ball carrier down. Miller's going to wrap up the first half here. Let's kick it now to Kevin Connors with our halftime update. Fellas, it's one thing to have a rivalry game, but when you have two longtime foes separated by 65 miles battling for a prize like the Paul Bunyan Trophy, you know emotions tend to run high. And we'd be remiss if we didn't start this halftime report by acknowledging the sparkling play of this tight end. The guy's like an aircraft carrier out there as a blocker. And then when he releases and shows off that speed and route running, he's almost unguardable. Gotta believe he won't be able to go anywhere in this second half without someone attached to his hip. With that, let's throw it back to the guys to see how the fight between Michigan and Michigan State plays out. The Wolverines will kick it off to begin the second half. Return starts from inside the five. He'll be tackled at the 18. That's good coverage there. And the Michigan State offense is back out on the field. On first and 10, they'll look to throw it. Caught behind the line. It's Carter. The defense all over. They stop him right at the line. But this is exactly what you want to see from the defense. Yeah, you give up the catch, but you're right there to be able to stop this receiver from making any yards after the catch. Offense getting set up. Here's second down. To throw, it's Childs. Sideline throw caught, but not enough for a first down. And there's the tight end who shows off his hands. Important third down play coming up after that completion. They'll run it with the draw play. Strong defense. They stop him right near the line of scrimmage. Well, they keep trying to run the football, and they keep getting dominated at the line of scrimmage. That has been a theme throughout this entire game. We've talked about it earlier in the game. It's not changing at all. They've become one-dimensional, and I think it's allowed this defense to really lock in on that quarterback. And in fourth down, they'll punt it away here. He's got an opening. Watch out. He's got great speed. He's brought down, but a good effort to make something of that return. And the Wolverines offense is back on the field. This group has been clicking. They've really built momentum. Can the defense make adjustments? Come up with a stop here. Breaks loose at the 40. And he's brought down, but he does have enough for the first down. Hey, whether it's been on the inside or bouncing things to the outside, this guy has shown you everything that he has to offer and a big part of the reason why they're enjoying this nice lead. A running play gives the offense a fresh set of downs. Play action here on first down. And he just throws the ball away there. Nobody open. Excellent coverage. Second down after the incompletion. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. He stopped just short of that first down marker, inches away from it. It's third and short from the opponent's 28. Let's see what the play call is here. They're already in field goal range, but thinking about the end zone. They'll try to move the chains here on the ground. Game moves the ball to the 21 and a fresh set of downs. 
Well, it's a nice job up front by the offensive line, but give the running back an assist for setting those blocks up before he's able to get downfield for the first down. The Wolverines pick up enough yardage to get a first down. Tight end goes in motion. Here comes a handoff. That's a nice wrap up there by the junior. And the Wolverines looking to take advantage of the red zone trip here. From the shotgun, here's an inside give. Tackle made after just a short game. Critical third down play for this offense right here. That's the wide receiver coming in motion now. Looking to throw. It's Orgy. Running back has it on a screen now. And they wrap him up, but the gain is good enough for a first down. Well, this quarterback is unflappable. Here they are working with the lead in the second half. Get to a third down. You got to throw the football. This is where you trust the quarterback to make a good decision, an accurate throw. He does it. You convert, and you keep working that clock. The Wolverines hoping to punch it in here. They have first and goal. Keep it on the ground on first and goal. And he's tackled down at the four-yard line. Defense getting pushed back. Second and goal for the offense. Trying for the touchdown. They'll test the left side. Goes backwards, losing three yards there. And they get stopped here on second down. It's going to bring up a third and goal situation. And from this far back out, wouldn't be surprised to see them go through the air. Just don't want the quarterback to take a sack here. Make sure he gets the ball out of his hands quickly. Great job by the defense so far. It's third and goal from a long way out. Now to play fake, he'll look to throw it. Launching one to the end zone. Touchdown, Wolverines. And the beatdown continues. Well, the energy really building now, Kirk. They're not careful. This could get ugly. Chris, this offense has been impressive the entire game. But one of the great things about rivalry games is you'll never forget this kind of performance. See if they can convert the point after. BAT is good, and the lead grows to 35 0. The kickoff team on the field now is a get set to send this one away. And here's the return from inside the five. Stop at the 22. That's pretty solid coverage there. And the Michigan State offense is back out on the field. They're coming off a three and out, looking to produce a positive drive here. They're gaining some breathing room now. Tackled at the 26. It's exactly what you want to see as a play caller. You get positive yards to be able to kind of keep you on schedule as a play caller. That's all you can ask for. Good job up front and a nice run. Second down after that run on the previous play. And here's the handoff. And they'll bring him down after just a short pickup. Offense looking to convert on third and short from the 27. Back to throw. It's Childs. He's a wide open receiver complete. He has first down yardage at the 46. 
Really good job here of converting by this offense. And let's face it, at this point in the game, because they have such a big hole to climb out of, they've got to be able to convert and come up with a new set of downs. They do it here. Now they got a real shot to cut into this lead. And the Spartans come to the line to start a fresh set of downs. Oh, and it's fumbled. The lateral goes wrong. Defense grabs the football. It's a turnover. How about this defense flying in there trying to get their hat on the ball? They do, and they're able to pounce on it for a big turnover. And the Michigan offense back out on the field. On the run, it's Edwards. The gain is three yards, so second and seven. Takes the handoff, looking to throw. Caught near the sideline, it's Edwards. And he heads out of bounds, moving backwards on that play. Didn't want to take the hit. Offense been in reverse here. Now a long way to go to convert this third down. Pre-snap motion from the offense. Looking for his big tight end. He makes the grab. Work out of bounds, but it's another big game. This offense producing chunk plays through the air. For this offensive line, you got to tip your cap. They've done everything you would ask of them in taking care of this quarterback. They do it again here on third down, working with that lead. You know the pressure's coming, and they deliver. Looking to throw it on first down. He's moving out of the pocket. Quarterback gets down to avoid the big hit. Well, this offense was looking for a big play, and I think this quarterback's eyes lit up when he realized there's nobody in front of him. He takes off and goes a long way. Not only does he pick up a first down, but a big gain to boot. Back-to-back -back big plays. Defense is reeling. Set up first and goal now. And now the handoff. Stop right at the line. This is a stubborn defense backed up against the goal line. Maybe this stop is an indicator of what's to come for this defense. The offense, frankly, has been able to enforce their will in the first half, but maybe things are starting to change. And the defense bringing out some big bodies to stop the run. Looking to score with a run to the right. Ball carrier brought down at the four. Offense in great scoring position here. Hey, I can understand why they're trying to run the football here, but Chris, let's face it. The way this quarterback's been throwing it around, I'm surprised we didn't see them call his number. He's already thrown for three touchdowns. Game moves the ball to the four. It's third down and goal. Scanning the field, it's Orgy. Bringing pressure. And it's the senior getting home with the sack. So, Kirk, Michigan has the lead here at the end of the quarter. This has been a beatdown, and the stats at the end of three reflect that. And let's see if a comeback is in store here as we start the fourth quarter. And we'll begin the fourth quarter with a field goal try here. The kick is good. He knocked it right down the middle. And that will extend their lead even further. Well, they almost put a touchdown on the board, but instead they come away with three points. After adding three more points to the lead, they're set to kick it off. Returner trying to create good field position. Tackled at the 22. Good job by the coverage team. And the Michigan State offense is back out on the field. The fumble the last time out symbolizing their struggles here today. That's why they're in a big hole. 
He'll try a pass here. That one falls incomplete. Good defensive play. Brings up second down. Everything about this play tells you about today's offenses and what they're asking out of their running backs. You can't just be a guy who runs the football anymore. You have to be able to catch it as well. And he didn't do a very good job of it on this play. So second down after the incompletion. Dropping back. It's Childs. Looking for the wide out. And he's got it. Big game moves the ball across midfield to the 45. Well, there's something, Chris, we haven't seen much from this offense all day. Finally, a big play downfield. Offense keeps moving. It's a completion for a first down. From the gun, he looks for an open man. Physical defending. That one falls incomplete. Brings up second down. Quarterback now all alone in the backfield. Second down. We're going to throw it. It's complete. What a grab near the sideline. That's a big game before he goes out of bounds. It'll move the sticks more than enough for a first down. Always have to be careful on the sideline not to step out accidentally. The wide receiver does a good job here on the route to bring the ball in while on a tightrope. And the Spartans pick up enough yardage for a fresh set of downs. Looking to throw again. Fires it to the wideout. And he finds a wide open receiver. They forgot about him downfield. The tackle is made, but the gain sets the offense up. First and goal from the nine. Finally, finally a spark for this offense that has really struggled so far today. Just got to hope it's not too late in their end. Finally, Chris, where has that been? The line does their job. The quarterback with a nice throw. Now you want to see these guys finally get a chance to get on the scoreboard. They can't miss out on this opportunity. The junior able to bring him down quickly. Well, anytime you use your quarterback as a runner, the goal is obviously to hit some big plays. You've got to be careful of letting your quarterback take too many big hits. Not only can he get tired, he can also start to fumble the football. Second down and goal, upcoming. Trying for the end zone, running it right up the gut. Did well to avoid a loss there, but it's no gain on the play. Chris, I'll be really honest with you. I don't know why they continue to try to run the football. I'm all about balance. I'm all about trying to make sure a defense has to defend the run and the throw. But at this point in the game, they haven't been able to run the ball. They're going to have to go through the air if they're going to come back and take the lead in this game at some point. Trying to throw for it on third and goal. And the pass is incomplete just across the goal line. Hey, the good news is here, Chris, they're still in field goal range, and they didn't cost themselves any points. But they could have more. Got to be thinking about going for this on fourth and short. And the coach elects to send out the field goal unit. They'll set up at the right hash mark for this ship shot. Met kick right down the middle. Can't hit it any better than that. So they get the three, but the margin is still huge. And that one, my gosh, I mean, it's almost too easy. Nice kick. Following the field goal, the kickoff team is out there now. And he takes this from inside the five. And he stopped at the 20. Tried to make something happen, but that's good coverage there. And the Michigan offense comes back out on the field. Kept out of the end zone last time. Had to settle for a short field goal. Can they improve upon that here? Gets some space around the 30. Good enough for the first down to the 37. Boy, this back is having some kind of game today. He just continues to pile up the yardage. That puts him over 150 yards now, and this defense has no real answers in trying to keep him contained. Game moves the ball to the 37. Another first down. 
handoff from the shotgun. And they'll stop him after a fairly minimal pickup. Important second down play coming up. Back to pass. It's Orgy. Tries the right with a quick throw. He's got an open man downfield, and it's caught. And he breaks clear down the right side. It's a foot race. Touchdown, Michigan. And the route is on. Boy, they just continue to do everything right. This offense has looked outstanding from the opening series all the way up to this point, doing everything that's asked of them, great execution, and put another touchdown up on the board. Kicking team out for the PAT try. The extra point is good, and they stretch the lead a little bit more. Kickoff team has come on the field now to send this one away. They'll return it from inside the 10-yard line. To be tackled at the 17. Strong job by the coverage team. And the Michigan State offense is back out on the field. Last time out, they moved the ball well, but had to settle for a chip shot field goal. Caught over the middle. It's Foster. And a nice first down game there. They get him down, but very close to the first down marker. We'll see if the defense stays in zone after that big play. If they can change things up on this drive and get a little bit more aggressive. Pass caught, second down now. Here's the snap, looking to throw here. That's going to be incomplete. A lot of contact, no flag, brings up third down. To throw, it's Childs. He's running out of time here. Trying to create outside the pocket, but they've got him for a sack. Man, how about the job by this defense? I mean, we really expected this offense to be able to come into this game, put up big yards and a lot of points, and here we are in the fourth quarter. Collectively, they don't even have 200 yards total offense, and they just seem to be out of sync. Give all the credit to the defensive coordinator and those defensive players and the way they're putting this pressure on this quarterback and this offense. The Spartans will have to kick it away. Back out to punt for the fourth time today. And the coverage team pins him in and brings him down. And the Wolverines offense is back on the field. And they'll run it out of the shotgun. And he's brought down out at the 46. Now it's second down here. And they'll keep it on the ground, trying to run some clock. They bring it down, but the game moves the ball into enemy territory at the 43. You know, I'd say this run is pretty emblematic of what we've seen all day long. No matter what they've done on offense, the guys up front have controlled the line of scrimmage. They've given a quarterback time to throw. They've been able to run, really, whatever they've wanted to. That's why the points are going up on the board. Right now, the psyche of this offense is we're in control, and we can do whatever we want, whatever we feel like doing. He picks up nine, so just short of the first down, second and one. Great job by the offensive line here, opening up some holes and giving the running back room to run on first down. Plays like this can open up the playbook for the play caller, allow him to make that defense think, are they going to run? Maybe play action, maybe throw the ball downfield. Second down play coming up. Trying to flex the ground game here. Running back takes the handoff. 
The Wolverines pick up first down yards to keep the drive going. Look, I realize on any play call when it's properly executed, it can go to the house for a touchdown. But the runs that really make a game plan work are the ones where you get just what you need. And he barely got the first down, but he got it. And the Wolverines pick up enough for a first down here. On the ground, it's Edwards. He gains nine, so it's second and one. Just another example of this offense, Chris, doing pretty much whatever they want to do. They've been able to run the football. Offensive lines held their own in pass protection. Quarterbacks had an outstanding day. You add all that up, it's a big reason why they're up by such a wide margin. Second down after that run on the previous play. A handoff to the back. And he picks up the first down before they get him to the ground. Hey, it's not a lot, but you know what? It's enough for the first down. Move those sticks and keep this drive going. The Wolverines have first and ten here. They're going to run it. It's a one-yard gain, second and nine coming up. Wolverines are in the red zone now. 